Hey guys, welcome to 3 Minute Thursday. Uh, the question was asked, does the Bible really say that a rich person can't go to heaven? Well, let me show you where that comes from. It's in Matthew chapter 19. Uh, it says, someone came to Jesus with this question, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? Jesus says, why ask me about what is good? There's only one who is good, but to answer your question, if you want to receive eternal life, keep the commandments. The man goes on to say, you know, I have done all that. I have uh, honored my father and mother. I've loved my neighbor. I've obeyed all these commandments. And he says, so what else must I do? And Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions and then uh, come follow me. And he says, uh, but when the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful. In other words, uh, this young man had great wealth. And he wasn't willing to give up what he had in order to gain what he couldn't buy. Uh, it says that uh, Jesus said to him, uh, to his disciples, I tell you the truth, it's very hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. I say it again, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Well, you know, there have been a lot of um, uh, commentaries written and a lot of people have said that there's a gate in uh, Jerusalem called the Camel Gate and uh, or the Needle Gate, Eye of the Needle, and that uh, they would close up that gate at night and it was just a small place where a person could get off and go through, but then the camel, it just wasn't big enough for the camel to go through. Well, there's no history to prove that. There is no uh, Needle Gate uh, uh, for that. Jesus was just simply saying that it's hard for a rich person to go to heaven. And why is that? It's because it's hard uh, to give up the things in this life that we want, that the world says is so important. Folks, one day we're going to come to realize that there's nothing in this world, whether it's good things or whether it's uh, things that would be considered sin that are so alluring in this world. None of those things are going to ultimately satisfy, and, and anybody can tell you that. I mean, if it's if it's wanting to 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 change the world, and we're able to do that, uh, in the end, the only thing that's going to matter is our relationship to Jesus Christ. So we need to dig in and learn to know Him. If it's if it's evil things, sex and drugs and things of that nature, and we think they're going to satisfy. Ultimately, they are not going to satisfy. Only Jesus is going to satisfy. But Jesus goes on to say, and the guy, the disciples asked, then who in the world can be saved? You know, and, and Jesus said, well, humanly speaking, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. In other words, yeah, it's, it's almost impossible for a rich person to go to heaven. It's impossible for a rich person to go to heaven. It's impossible for a poor person to go to heaven. Unless it's without Jesus, unless it's with Jesus Christ. That's the only way any of us are going to go to heaven. That was Jesus' point here. Hope that helps. Uh, hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you again in another week.